Hello friends, today one of our member asked to discuss on the topic of extractable nuclear antigens. It is abbreviated as ENA panel test. So here you can see ENA panel extractable nuclear antigen. So as the name implies it detects nuclear antigen. So you know inside nucleus there are components like DNA, SN, URNP and variety of other molecules. Okay, so it detects those antigens and you might be wondering what does this word extractable means. So, talking about the history from where this word came, previously they used to cross the cell and extract the nuclear antigens with saline. But nowadays they use other methods like ELISA, Western blot, hemagglutination. So, we don't use that extractable saline method of extraction of those antigens nowadays. But still the historical term extractable word is still there in this panel test. Okay, so this is called extractable nuclear antigen. So you know that Nowadays, we use other techniques like Western blot, Western blot, hemagglutination, ELISA for the estimation of these antigens. Okay, so what are different antigens or antibodies that fall under this ENA panel test? So basically, there are four, uh, I mean six, six total antigens. So one is Rho, two is La, three is a Smith, anti-Smith antibody, 4 is SCL70, 5th is UNRNP, 6th is ZO. So, it, uh, if you get one antibody positive like Rho positive or La positive, it does not uh, specifically indicate this disease. But, uh, if there is a high titer of some antibody, it points more towards certain diseases. Like if you get a rho la antibody, it suggests more towards Zogren syndrome, if high titer. What can be seen in other diseases like SLE, rheumatoid arthritis, these are non-specific, okay? Uh, I mean to decide it is as specific if it is present in high titers, but if it is low in titers, it does not specifically point towards certain diseases. Like if you see NDS Smith antibody, it is highly specific for SLE, okay, present in high titers. But can be seen in other diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, mixed connective tissue disease. Similarly, if you get SCL70, it points more towards systemic sclerosis. UNRNP more towards mixed connective tissue disease, but can also be present in SLE, rheumatoid arthritis, ZU points towards polymyositis. Okay, so basically you have to remember six antigens, Rho, La, Smith, SCL70, UNRNP, Joe, okay, 